Hey Caster, Derek here at Baker Six Land. This week I am tackling the Gadget Talk monthly challenge for April and creating a puzzle box for an event. Let's get started. All right, for some of you that may not watch Gadget Talk, which I help Chad co-host for, for the Geocache Talk Network, each month we've been starting to give out a different challenge. And this month for April of 2021, we gave the challenge out to do a puzzle box that you can take to events that people can solve and to find maybe a trackable or personal swag or something like that that might be inside there that they can earn to get. Now, we wanted it to do this just kind of because the events are starting to open back up in different places, and this just makes it a lot of fun to do. So with it being Gadget Talk Challenge, I figured, you know what, I'm gonna take several of the different types of builds that we've done throughout the last year or so and kind of combine those and make it into a simple, fairly simple, just come some wiring to do up of a puzzle box. And in typical Gadget Talk fashion, I'm gonna be using some LEDs, some momentary switches, and I'm gonna be putting it into an ammo can. So the first thing that I need to do is kind of prep the ammo can real quick um, to be able to where the LEDs and the momentary switches are gonna go. So I'm gonna be taping it measuring it out and putting those holes in there for those switches. All right, so now I've got where I'm gonna be putting the holes into the ammo can. So now, now I just need to drill the holes and get it ready to put in all those elements. All right, so now I've got the holes in place. Next step, let's go ahead and put in all the elements before we get to the other side where we'll start wiring everything in. So let's get the momentary switches in, the LEDs, and the machine screws, which I didn't tell you earlier, that's gonna go in up here at the top. Let's get those in. So now all the elements are in place and I've already got the battery pack that's going to be going in here and it's just going to be a 9 volt battery. Now I'm going to take the positive from the battery and I'm going to be wiring it into the momentary switches here. And then I'm going to take the negative from the battery and run it into a random of one of these machine screws. Now when I'm going to the machine screws, I'm going to be using one of these terminal connectors to connect it into the machine screw because it just makes it a lot easier and I will solder the actual wire into this. I mean, you can crimp it, but I kind of like soldering it a little bit better, and then I'm also gonna be soldering the wires into the momentary switches. And then I'm gonna be using some hot glue just kind of make sure that those wires stay in place. So that's the next step. Just get all these wired up in here, the LEDs to the momentary switches and to one of the random machine screws. So now it's all wired up and ready to go. And I've also added just some simple wires on the top of it to be able to connect to these screws on the top. Um, because those are, like I said, those are the negatives. So you have to have the negative, which are the screws, and then the positive to correspond to the correct LED. And that's how you're gonna solve this. And the color of the LED is what's gonna represent the number to get into the lock that's gonna be on here to be able to get into the event puzzle cache. Now this could really be an actual cache to go out in the field, um, but like I said, I wanted this to be for an event. Now, you're probably asking, well, how are you gonna find out the numbers from the LEDs? Well, I'm gonna have some type of cipher or code or something on the outside of this can that will give the answer to how to do that. But I'm gonna reveal how I'm gonna be doing that on the next Gadget Talk on May 4th, 
at 8 Central um, here in the US. So you want to make sure that you check that out and I will reveal how I do that. Now, I hope you've really enjoyed this. Uh, leave me a comment down below and uh, let me know. Also, the buttons, the LEDs, and all the other material, and in including the ammo can, I have affiliate links down below in the description. And anything you click on that really does help the channel, and I really do appreciate it. But I hope you really enjoy this. I want to see you on Gadget Talk on May 4th at 8 Central, and I really hope to see you there. But hey, don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these videos just right over here and find the story behind the cache.